Once again, it's on Nightly News Edition with Rod and Branch. It's uh, 9.15 on Saturday night, Saturday Night Fevers, July 28, 2012. Last Saturday of the month, so let's keep it brief. Um, still in the same place as the last time you left, and pretty much just staying to the same routine, working, and taking care of business behind the scenes. The only time I have had to get out the house today was uh, with my little cousin. She wanted to go to the mall and get some shades and uh, pick up a slice of pizza, which actually kind of led to this subject matter that I'm going to discuss right now. And uh, we did stop by the Albertsons to pick up uh, a few goods. And I actually went and I got myself some pop tarts. I treated myself. 12 pack that was on sale for $2.99 and I was asking myself man I'm a, am I a consumer? Is that, is that what I'm leading into? But I guess that's just an attempt to fit in. So uh, between us as friends because only the winners come and tune into this kind of stuff even though a lot of y'all don't say I'm going to make another post about that uh, why people like to keep it a secret that they tune in uh, anonymously is the word for it. Um, sometimes I watch the shows on Money Channel, CNBC, about financial uh, news and what's taking place around the world. And sometimes it does seem complicated. They can talk about uh, future projections and derivatives and what's a good buy on the stock market and equities and commodities and short sale, long sale, you know, they give you the lingo and keep it all complicated. But I just always tune in to the key words that I hear and I think the primary word that's of the utmost interest is the one that's listed up here is consumer. And a lot of talk is being spent on consumer confidence, so it's consumer and then the emotion, confidence, consumer spending. Consumers, consumers, is a healthy consumer. They were talking to the dude from, um, what's the name of the company, Jarden, responsible for a lot of household consumer brands, some of the stuff that you might use every day. Well, that's a guy that's the CEO of and he was speaking on his insight about the global economy. The economy is slowing down and it's not uh, progressing the way we expect it to. It has to do with the consumer spending and consumer confidence. And it's, I said, man, people just get labeled. And that's always a word that jumps out at me. I don't know, maybe it's just instinct, but that's really a word that I want to bring up for discussion. We can really go into a long one, but we're going to keep it brief and just say, man, let's look at that word for a second. Consumption. Consumer. Like, you're a consumer. Consumer confidence. Consumer protection bureau. We got to protect the consumer. Like, consumer, consumer. That's like, that's kind of like a slight. And I actually looked up the definition on Wikipedia. I'm going to list a different one. But the definition on Wikipedia said that some people actually came out and started to look at that as kind of a, a slight, a put down, and seeing if we can actually change that. If people don't like to be classified as consumers. Although that's that's what it is. I mean, I'm going to consume uh, some of these Pop-Tarts, but more or less I'm a producer. I'm a producer, I'm a producer, I'm a producer. And this is some production going out help you get your mind thinking in the right direction to see, you know, what the words really mean and look at the bigger picture. So we're going to keep it under five minutes and just ask that question. Do you label yourself as a consumer? Consume, consume, consume. That's like an empty space that needs to get filled. Maybe the empty space itself is being caused by the need or the want or the desire to consume. We can fix that. And maybe God is calling on us for higher power to kind of reverse our thoughts on. But nonetheless, I just want to put that out there because I thought it was something fly to say. And 
think about for a second a consumer. Are you a consumer if you classify yourself as such? One or the other.